University of the Arts London. Whether, it, whether this is the design for you or the design for the, for the teddy bear. The world's most inclusive garment. <laughs> it's like going to a provincial Indian restaurant, isn't it? There's just like too much choice. Here we are at UAL, and I'm about to look at the entrance for the 2023 Chancellor's Rude competition. And I'm sort of hoping to see something that will shock me and surprise me. The three things I'm really looking for, obviously, are is it going to have the wow factor? Can you see it from the back of the Royal Festival Hall? Is it, you know, different from the other ones we've seen already? Because I like to ring the changes, you know, who's making it, what sort of style it's in. And of course, most important of all, is it comfortable and suitable for summertime? What is that? Is that that looks like waistcoat panels to yeah. me. Like You'd wear that to Glastonbury, wouldn't you? All right, babe. All right, mate. Yeah. Well, this person understands my vibe, definitely. Well, What's that? that? I'm not sure. I think that's the head. Nudity. Nudity. It's the first thing I've seen. First yeah. time I've seen nudity for. So uh, it'll be a very cheap and sustainable uh, outfit for sure. I have got a sword. Nobody's offered me a sword. I'm a knight now, so they should at least offer me a sword. Christ the Redeemer meets Alan Lee's sword. <laughs> Die samples. Ooh. I think oh, this is Christ some sort of. This is a headpiece. Okay. Look, look, look. look down at your papers. Oh. Nope. I mean, it's kind of repellent and seductive at the same yes. time, isn't it? Get that so time. easy to draw, so difficult to make. Yeah. This is a little bit Mary Poppins. We're going down a little <laughs> thing here, aren't we? I'd be a bit worried about droopingtons on this one, if you know what I mean. I'm liking this <laughs> on liking many it? levels, and I think you know, we just get a pair of ordinary shoes and decorate them. Yeah, yeah that would be great. That's the sort of night before version of sewing, isn't it? I like that, it's great. That is, a, that is a hell of a frill, that, isn't it? I love yeah. the, how deep that frill is. Pop socks, would you call those? I'd call that pop a pop sock. sock. Yes. Definitely call that a pop sock. I mean, I like it. It's got a nice, it's got a nice vibe. Mm -hmm. I like the vibe of mm -hmm. it, the kind of cheekiness. Mm -hmm. As always, the students have come up trumps. Very impressive the amount of work that people have done. And there were several contenders for the top spot. We've now managed to narrow it down into a short list. I definitely think this year we have got a fabulous robe in the making. So well done to everybody who sent stuff in. Uh, commiserations for those who we haven't chosen, but excitement builds. I inspired uh, by the, the excavation by uh, Hugh Locks. Oh, Hugh Lock, yeah, at the Hayward Gallery. Yeah. Have you found all of these materials? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So these are kind of like little sort of baskets, and they're all made out of old bottles, yeah? Yes. That's not that yeah, heavy at all, no, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that the sleeve? Do you need a hole to go in and a hole to come out, though? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can work out the technical details. The special part of my design in the scene is recycle. Our concept is about the owner of the family. We decided to make, make a core by hand. That's, it looks good on there. Yeah. You've got an underneath layer, have you? Oh, it's knitted. It will be too warm. It's very... <laughs> <laughs> the fluffiness is nice. And this is the cap. I think there's so much here that you could isolate different techniques, but do it in yeah. a way that's much more appropriate for the occasion. It's been so nice to cooperate with these two, and we having our own ability to doing to form one goal. We wanted to create something that was like a celebration of all your achievements. Right, is this my wife, but yeah. <laughs> What do you think happens when you sit down with the structure underneath? Yeah, that's the hundred dollar question. Yeah. Yes, yeah. our background is in making more historical yeah. costumes. So we're kind of used to the historical techniques. They, they used to sit down in the olden days as well, I believe. Yeah, it's more comfortable than it is. If our robe would win, it will be such an amazing opportunity to have our staff on such a large stage and can contribute a lot to our career as designers. We came up with um, a character, um, like a cake angel. Cake so, angel? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fair dues. This will be the main fabric for the dress. The, the big feature is the kind of bow stroke wings. Yeah. yeah. 
How would you get the um, bow attached to the kind of harness? Two stripes going this way and yeah. just put it on. Oh, I see. But they would be over the top of the dress, would they? Yeah. To be honest, um, we didn't expect it to be selected. But if we are selected, we are really confident that we can bring it to reality. My inspiration for the look was just like recession core. So, <laughs> <laughs> and so basically, I had an old pool. So I want to like do a play on inflation, so like an inflatable front vest. Each quote is from you. Let them eat cake. I think someone more famous than me said that. Just a bit more famous. <laughs> and so you would be embodying her, so you'd be Claire Toinette. And my studies have definitely helped me to not even just do it like manually, but just do it like with confidence. Um, and also, yes, technically, it definitely has helped, yeah. For the shoulders of the robe, we have created six teddy bears based on the different character of six colleges. Yeah, the laser cutting on this, would, oh. they, would there be holes or would they have oh, a fabric, yeah, yeah, fabric holes. showing through? No, there'd be holes, okay. Thank them for their support. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all totally used made. Yeah. yeah. Here's some of the process. It's really time consuming, the robot bears. We spend three months or four months. It's really long time. <laughs> Thank you all for coming today and thank you of course for all your hard work. There's lots of different things we have to weigh up, you know, it's like I've got to wear it obviously so it's got to work in that way. And then also we were looking at how good you were at making things. In the end though, I, so you can blame me, you can blame me, but the winner of uh, the robes for the UAL Chancellor for 2023 <laughs> <laughs> is Yin Fang. The result of the competition is really surprised me. And I'm really excited if I can work with John Laos or uh, technicians. And so we have chosen our winner, Ying Fang. And I think what stood out for me was it was a sort of simple, clear idea. And also I don't think I'd ever seen a dress like that before. I mean, there was elements of all the other designs we loved. But in, way, in the end, it was Yin Fang's, very clear. I liked all the circles and I think it will look great on stage. The design is going to be very challenging because it's the first time that a non-fashion student has won the competition. It contains lots of elements, including lots of sustainable materials and found objects. So the design has to come together in a comfortable and practical way for Grayson to wear on stage uh, at graduation. Oh, it seems to fit. It's quite choky around the throaty, but... Okay, I'm going to note that. Yeah. You've got shoulder pads this year. Really? Oh, what, is that, that protect my shoulder from the weight? I yes. <laughs> How did I guess that? Can make it longer. Longer? Yeah, yeah. it's quite important, I think, the shape mm. of the collar has a kind of... a bit of, what we call it, punctuation in the visual sentence that is me. I think we just need one or two more smaller rings there. Yeah. Yes, yes. To fill in that gap and yeah. be perfect. <laughs> It's kind of like the fairy from the dump. I am really happy because, uh, you know, the brief for me basically is, does it look spectacular on the stage? Is it cool? Is it comfortable? Is it me? Because when we saw the original uh, design, we thought, oh, you know, I hope that's going to convert into something that's full scales up in something wearable. And it has. It works. I like the silhouette. It's fun. I'm very happy. I think I'm going to add more details on the dress. When I, when I saw Grayson wear my work, I think, yeah, every top moment just worth it. Oh, look, I could do some leg presses now. <laughs> <couldn't Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Go a bit tight because it'll drop. Yes, they fit. I am the princess. <laughs> It's always a problem getting your skirt to stick out enough, but you know, I think you solved it. It's lovely to go out on a bang. Not only is it spectacular looking, it's also ethically very sustainable. And also, it's cool and comfortable, and you can sit down in it without itching. 
it's fantastic. <laughs> it's definitely my favourite. The challenge is patience. When I see Gracie on the stage, I will feel satisfied, relieved and calm. A big welcome to this year's graduation ceremony.